Hi, welcome to the workshop. This is one of my infrequent updates, uh, just to tell you what's going on around the place and what's in my mind. So I've had Monkey around recently, he's been helping me whilst I've been repairing him for my nephew. So he'll be going back to Ryan pretty soon. You can see he's sitting on what looks like a stool as part of a project that's coming up uh, in time for Christmas. Got a lot of boxes on the go at the moment, lots of pieces there to make some small boxes. That's not for videos, although I might do some videos on joints that I use in those, uh, so watch out for that. Other than that, for the actual workshop itself, I've got myself a tool tree. Uh, basically, one two by two, lots of pegs coming out the side, and I can hold all those awkward tools which are a little bit more difficult to hang on the wall. So I'm a frame saw, I've got a fret saw, the panel gauge I made a couple of years ago, an in shave, Got the maul that I made a few weeks ago. Got a hatchet, got my uh, throw down the bottom there. It's really good for those sorts of tools, which are, can be a bit awkward to, to store around the place. They make them really quick to get to. Uh, I guess the main thing that's been going on recently is I've been thinking about what to do with my machine shop. And if you've seen some of my very early videos, you'd have seen me working in the machine shop. I hardly use it anymore, but uh, let's take a look out there and uh, I'll give you some idea of some of the thoughts I've been having on it. So those of you who have been in here before with me will know that I've got a, a cabinet saw, a band saw, a planar thicknesser, small workbench, a large sort of bench for working at, assembly bench or what have you, with some storage, some dust extraction, pillar drill, and a lathe and I have to say that certainly in the last year the only thing I've used in here has been the bandsaw and the lathe and um, well that's that's what's got me to thinking what what should I do here it's a bit of a waste of space at the moment I hardly ever use the the table saw so I haven't used it this year uh, I do have another table saw up in the garage just a sight saw and on the odd occasions that I need one, that tends to be the one I go to. So the plane of thickness had broke down over a year ago and I've been doing everything since then by hand, really enjoying it. So I'm thinking no need to replace it, no need to repair it. I can probably just get rid. And I'm sure if I do get rid of it, I'll get a job come along where I've got so much or so many boards to surface. That I'll think, oh, I wish I still had that. Or I wish I had one that was working. Um, I guess if that, if that happens, then I can just uh, pick up another cheap one. So exactly what happens with this space, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'll be thinking over the next month or so, uh, try and make a decision before the spring. It would be nice to, to do some teaching here. At the moment, I do it on, a, on an off-site facility, um, but you know that becomes expensive. So um, you know if you think you're taking a course and you want to do a course in here, let me know. I will tidy it up a bit. Now, I'm also lucky that when the, the weather's not too bad, I've got a garage I can leave the car out of and use. Um, I've got in here a form for doing the steam bending for that country chair. Uh, it's a bit, as you can see, a bit Heath Robinson, but uh, it, uh, it will bend things. I'm just having a, a trouble stopping them from snapping when I do it. Uh, so that's there. I've got the steam bending kit here. got my steam box, very simple thing I just made up recently. Steamer, a soaking tray lights obviously which I need in here and I don't know can you see up here yeah right up here in the corner I've got um, a restoration project which is a little footstool it needs a total complete restoration um, it'd probably be quicker to to build one from scratch but uh, I say it's an antique so what can you do so that's pretty much uh, everything that's going on around here at the moment I'll give you an update after Christmas of what I decide to do with the machine shop. And uh, hopefully the steam bending will all be completed then, either successful or not. And the country chair video hopefully out in time for you to see all those episodes by Christmas Day. Which means I better crack on and actually finish it. Okay, cheerio!